what's the purpose of it? Is it a monitoring well? Is it an old abandoned well? Uh, we have someone here from the uh, Groundwater Assessment and Remediation Division. They may be able to answer that question a little bit better than I can, but I'll attempt <laughs> unless um, what I want to step forward. Florence, Florence. Yes. Can you have them come and explain? Um, I would much rather they did step up and yes. do that. Absolutely. My understanding is it's already been capped. There's deep restrictions. The contamination is under the cap zone. It will not be disturbed. Correct. The the construction that is proposed by the port is not in the area where the contamination is. It is not in the area where the cap is. And the drainage from this site, once it's constructed, will be directed away from that cap. So we, there's no anticipated disturbance to the cap where that um, um, contamination is. There's, there's no disturbance expected whatsoever. Now, the monitoring well that is out there is a groundwater monitoring well that they've had in place uh, for uh, several years now, and the change to that is just uh, to change the cover, essentially, that's on the well. It's going to be a flush mount cover to keep it from getting broken, to protect it. And it's still going to be a monitoring well. Absolutely. It will still be continued to be monitored. It's a matter of making sure that there's better protection over the groundwater well. And the groundwater results thus far? Uh, I would rather Bart answer that, that question. But I would like to note that in the um, environmental assessment that was submitted with the application to our department, the court does acknowledge that they will drain the site so that all the stored water from the storage area will drain south to the Bay Tributary to Turkey Creek and that they will not be going over the area that has been capped. So none of the, the water drainage will go back over that capped area since their construction is And I'll just add real quick, I think of what Florence mentioned, we are not touching the capped area. Uh, the capped area was completed, the remediation plan was completed several years ago, about five, six years ago, as part of an approved corrective action plan. Uh, there is a series of monitoring wells that surrounds the capped area. Those monitoring wells are sampled annually, and over the last several years it has shown that the contamination within the groundwater underneath the cap is not migrating. It's my understanding we have one more series of tests to go through. If those tests are consistent with previous tests, to continue to show that there is no migration occurring, it's my understanding we'll receive a letter from the DEQ of no further actions required. We have completed what we said we were going to do. Can you touch on that? I, I, I community has a big concern about the contamination and their children and if, if you could just come and you know give a brief history of the site and where the, where the state of the site is now. Please state your name and position. Uh, Jay Liu, uh, engineering and training with the Groundwater Assessment and Remediation Division. Um, the site uh, it's currently under um, triannual uh, monitoring basis. Uh, actually, this uh, this November is when the next uh, event, groundwater sampling event, will, will be conducted. Uh, earlier, you mentioned that uh, there's a one groundwater monitoring well that will be converted um, from a uh, riser pipe to a flush mount. Um, the the past events have shown that the uh, the level of contamination at that particular well has been below tar our target re remediation goals. So, yeah. Have any questions? Actually, yeah, I have a question. Is that better? Uh, earlier you mentioned the area was capped. Can you kind of explain what that means? Um, I believe we already mentioned that earlier that the clay is capped uh, under um, clay of the soil, um, clay of clay, 10 inches. 10 inches. I mean, I, the reason I ask is because uh, the senator brought up something about hurricane winds and stuff. And we had we had hurricane uh, like activity last year, I believe. Was there any noticeable difference from? No, not that I know of. Okay. 
So the hurricane issue is one issue with not really my area of expertise, but I, I don't recall the hurricane being an issue at the Soviet problem. So my understanding of deed restrictions is that the area can't be touched at all uh, unless formally, unless they ask the EQ in yes, order to do something with that property. Yes. And how long has it been below the TRGs? Um, I would say five years. Five years, I would say, yes. Okay. 